Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, turns out the skeletons in her closet of lies are about to be dragged out into the harsh light of day by none other than legendary biographer Tom Bauer. That's right, the man who utterly dismantled the sham Sussex truth in his must-read book is back with more vengeance. This time, Bowers got his hands on explosive draft documents that appear to corroborate long-standing accusations of Meghan's diva behavior and bullying of royal staff behind palace gates. We're talking the unvarnished goods, emails, contemporaneous notes, the whole nine yards showing the mounting list of complaints about our dear Duchess's appalling treatment of her employees. Can you imagine the full-body cold sweat nutmegs working up right about now? This documentation is her worst nightmare brought to vivid, undeniable life. No more hiding behind the she said, they said ambiguity that enabled her dismissive what bullying. Gaslighting all these years, the accusers have ammo, and Big Bad Tom is loading the PR cannon to blow Meg's cover-up effort to smoldering bits. I can just picture the frantic scene playing out in the swanky Montecito love shack. Megan's feverishly rage-dialing her battery of PR flunkies, slamming her allowance wine with shaking hands as she demands immediate damage control protocols. How did he get those notes? Who's leaking intel on us this time? Find. Them. Now. Meanwhile, Harry's cowering in the corner somewhere wondering what fresh hell his human chia pet has dragged him into now. About the only balls that spineless simp ever located was to sign his ancestral name onto a litany of tall tales throwing his own family under the royal bus. You just know he's muttering, what did I get myself into, in between reassuring scalp rubs. Of course, Megan's giving zero fucks about truth or facts, or whether she's actually guilty as sin of degrading countless loyal staffers in misery. By her twisted estimation, that's all just the racist whinging of low-paid jealous nimrods who should feel blessed to lap up her toxic narcissism in penance. In Nutmeg's ever-expanding book of fairy tales, she's an innocent waif just trying her best to survive the big bad oppressive monarchy, even as credible stories of her horrendous workplace behavior continue piling up. This is the woman, after all, who pitched such an epic tantrum over some trifling embroidery for friends' blankets that her own personal assistant quit out of sheer anxiety and distress. How many objective observers need to come forward and describe feeling traumatized and terrified by Megan's impossible standards and volcanic temper before we accept Occam's razor? She's a thin-skinned, insecure bully who can't tolerate any slight or deviation from her grandiose script, even from people being paid to cater to her every whim. So yeah, the fact that straight shooter Tom Bauer dropped a bombshell announcement that he has physical receipts of this conduct should be giving Megan Knight sweats and the cold shakes. The guy's not some tabloid gossip blogger spinning fan fiction. He's a legendary award-winning journalist and biographer with a reputation for meticulous sourcing and credible insider access. He crucified Prince Harry's entire Oprah fiction in spare, leaving that sad simp royally scrambling for excuses. And now that Bauer claims to have documentary proof of Meghan's abusive antics thanks to brave whistleblowers at the palace, the congenital liar is well and truly fucked. No wonder she thrashes around in constant PR deflection mode. The truth catching up to her toxic bullshit must feel apocalyptic. Her whole shtick crumbles under the weight of indisputable facts. At this point, I wouldn't be shocked if Megan attempts to fabricate some sort of wild counterattack with more doctored proof designed to swift boat honest brokers like Bauer. Or maybe she tries rallying her dwindling army of social media psychophants to mass report critics like Tom until Big Tech exacts their patented censorship for her safety. Either that or she'll just flat out disappear for a few months until the heat dies down again. Whatever shady stratagem she can cook up to prolong what little PR relevance she has remaining. Because one thing's certain, Megan will never simply cop to her behavior, make an honest apology, and take her medicine like a respectable adult. That would require humility, personal responsibility, and a spine she clearly lacks, allowing the receipts to demolish her delusion and mar her precious branding. Hell will freeze first. Instead, like always, she'll attempt to spin, distract, 
and shame attack her way out of accountability until she can re-establish her self-serving My Truth counter-narrative. But the irony is that Sulla's play has already grown thin to the point of tragic self-parody. Civilized society wised up to the Harkel's bad faith horseshit long ago and now openly mocks their perpetual angling for empty reliability points. Megan's notorious poker face has been overplaying its hand for years, to the point where only her most spitefully devoted dribblers still buy the act. Everyone else sees them for the stunted grifter sociopaths they are. So bring it on, Megzy baby. Tom Bauer clearly loaded for bear, and he has more credibility in a single booger fleck than you have in your entire flailing public persona. This time the receipts are ready, the whistleblowers lined up, the proof finally set to topple your tower of lies in a glorious Jenga-esque collapse. You can run, you can hide, but ultimately there's no escaping the self-made labyrinth of fictions and fallacies you've spent years building for yourself. Accountability is knocking, sweetheart. And this time, even all your PR ghouls and shady celebrity friends won't be enough to hold back the tide of truth you've spent so lavishly trying to gaslight away. This is the beginning of the end of your shameless con artistry, and the entire world's front row seats to finally witness a living embodiment of unbridled narcissism getting the karmic reality, check it so richly deserves. So what do you guys think about this news guys? Sounds off in the comment, and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family, thank you.